Welcome back to the shop. Today is Saturday, October the 29th. I just got back from the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. Seen some interesting stuff down there that we'll be working on and stopped in to check on the progress of what's going on with the boat building and stopped by the jet place to pick up a few parts to work on the next project, the entertainment section of these things. So tonight I'm going to be working on building the smoke and fire portion of the jets. So we'll be working on parts that are in here. We're gonna put a cone on the end of this and we're gonna run our fuel tube out the struts. That's the cover shield, the heat shield for the tail bearing on the turbine end of the jet. And then the fuel's gonna come in from the outside through these ports here and the struts are hollow. So over here we have the struts, the spare ones that I picked up. So these are the pieces that's inside there we was just looking at the heat shield for the tail bearing. This is the whole assembly. These are the little square end caps. I'll drill and tap them for fuel lines to go through. These hold it in place right here. So these are these. That's, this floats in there, so there's nothing holding it other than these pieces right here. Because of the heat expansion of these parts here, they have to float. And we'll be using a piece of fuel tubing, not this, this is copper, but something similar to this. And I'll bring them through the center of here. And we'll cut a hole in here to bring the fuel lines out. And they'll come out kind of straight like this and they'll be smashed flat to about ten thousandths of an inch wide so it'll make a nice flat fan of fuel coming out so it can atomize it with the heat make lots of smoke and then we'll on the end of it here we're going to make some a flame holder out of a cone so first of all I had to make a template a paper template which looked like this, flattened out. And then once I made that paper template, I made an aluminum template. And I put that aluminum template on a piece of stainless steel. I've already cut one out with a laser. This is a handheld laser. I just make the aluminum template and then I trace it with a laser. So let's make one of them real quick. Get this set up here where I can... So you can see what's going on as I do it. Get the laser cutter turned on here. Some nitrogen flowing, laser's hot. Get us some goggles on. This is probably one of the handiest tools I have purchased. I love this thing. So we'll just cut it out. Look at that thin line. So that's how it cuts it. 
I won't finish it right now. I've already cut one out. And once I've cut that out, it looks something like this. This is the one I cut previously. And then I just hand bend it. I'll eventually weld that gap together with a laser welder. And then it'll get welded on the end of this. This will be my flame holder. And so the igniter will go in the tail section of it to light the fuel once it's pumped through there at about 75 PSI. We're going to be dumping somewhere in the neighborhood of about 150 gallons an hour at about 75 PSI through four lines that will be coming through the struts. So I'm going to get busy, get started. We'll see what it looks like when I finish.